What is going on guys, I'm Maximo Hockey and welcome back to Football Manager 2016 from Rags to Riches with our team, guys, the AFC. Last time I left you all in a good old, good old dub against Rexham, Rexham, and we beat him, I believe. It's been a while, that's been a while, it's been a week. Yeah. It's been a while. But, I made a, I played a lot of games since, um, back, since, and... We're in first. That's that's a let's start, let's start with that. Let's let's start with this. We are in first place. We have won seven times and drawn once, and we have a goal difference of thirteen. That's in a massive improvement from last year. Last year we were just different. We were pretty much in like mid table, and then we just dropped over here, and then we just over and then we just dropped to the relegation zone and then made the twentieth. But right now we're in first place, and I had to like literally thank. Jamie Wooton. But first, let me just check out the. Uh, let me just tell you about the schedule that I played. Uh, or the games that I played. First off, East Eastley. We I don't know how to pronounce their name, but we we beat them. We two two nothing. To, uh, go by Tommy Credit and a go by Jamie Wooton. That man, it's unbeatable. That man. Uh, this one we beat for is Green three one. Again, a double for J with Jamie Wooton and a goal for again McCall, which is great. Which is great. Um, where's our next Southport? That was a kind of disappointing result, uh, knowing that we were one down at the ninth minute. But we managed to get it back up five, two goals by Jamie Wooton, a double another another one for Jamie Wooton, Wooton, and Connor McCaffrey the scored. So that puts it the tie. Very disappointing, but still it was a good match. I said we were gonna play Halifax. Last time, but I decided, nah, let's just leave it like that. And Pat McLaughlin and Andrew Halworth both scored, which is fantastic. Uh, that was a fantastic match. I loved that match. Bristol Rovers, another good result. Jamie Wilton again with a, uh, an early lead with Andy Halworth is getting a, getting a, his his name in the score sheet, and Edgar McCall is getting his score as well. Uh, Margate, it was kind of this was kind of a little bit uh, disappointing. We should have gotten at least two more on them. We got nine shots on target, and we have most of the possession. We could have definitely gotten another one in, but that's okay. Uh, we still beat them two one. We did concede, which is bad. Boston United, this Jamie Wooton, another double. He has not gotten in hat trick before uh, yet, but this man is on fire. And there is our boy um, Steven Drench, who transferred. To this club for more playing time. So yeah, uh, let's let's just go back to the to the main menu because uh, you know main menu is where it's at. Um, there we go. I'm just a bit frozen right there. Uh, I got nothing else to say. T Jimmy Woodard had a total of 11 goals. That's more. That's one goal more than James Simpson, which is fantastic. Uh, Jamie Wilson being our best player, Penn Parker and Addy, Andy Hallworth getting the most assist, and Will Haffey being our most um, playmaker, our best playmaker. And overall, we're doing well for ourselves. We're we're in first place with 22 points. Financially, we're getting there. Uh, let me let me check the finances. Finances, we're still negative in in cash. But we get money. We we're getting money now because like our p people are just showing up for the matches and they're loving the matches. So so we we just gotta keep on winning and more people will be coming to watch our matches. That's all I have to say. And since our pay payroll budget is right there, it's lower than they gave us. So I hope I put that money into the balance that right now is negative. So I'm trying to boost that up, get some more, and sooner or later, uh, we'll be become professional. And that's something I really wanted to do, professional, because uh, we could upgrade our training, get more people into here other than, from other regions, like Wales and everything. And yeah, so far so far right now, um, i kind of been biased, because like, all these players all uh, played 8 players. They were my starting 11 for 8 games. And the, re the rest haven't even started. Some have gotten some... Subins, but the rest haven't not played a match or started a match at all. So I'm kind of a little bit biased with um, with the players that I choose. But since that formation is so is working so well for us, we which is needed. We need it. Uh, let's see what else can I say? Injuries. We got Shamal George. 
and I haven't used I haven't used him in a while because he got um, a damaged shoulder in a few weeks ago, so I have not been using him a while. And I've instead I've been using Charlie Albinson, who as well is doing very very well for me. So I'm not even be. Our next injury was Jamie Wooton, which sadly he will not be playing for this episode in which I wanted to show you off, show him off. But he has 11 goals so far in the in the competition right now in Verena League. I think he's a top scorer as well. Yes, he has 11 goals uh, with Darren Mc, McQueen with 12 goals as well. Fantastic for him. 21 years old. May, may be looking for uh, uh, to cop, you know. Anyways, uh, yeah, he's injured. He's out for three days, but it's okay. Uh, he'll be he'll be back in form for our probably for a for FA Cup for qualifying round. Everything else is just looking fine, fine and dandy. Our tactics has been working pretty well right now. We're pretty accomplished with this formation, so we're doing well. We're doing well for ourselves. I'm gonna put Isaac Buckley up top right now because he he has does has pace and he can finish well. But what I hate about him is he's a target man. I'd rather have him for an advanced forward. Or complete forward, which I really need one, at least one complete forward, but actually, which, which I doubt could, I, could, I could ever find, because complete forwards literally have to be super good. But anyways, this is going to be starting lineup. It's the same one as we did uh, recently. Uh, that's all I have to say about it. I think I think that we're going to have a, a good match against uh, who is it we'll be facing. Grimsby, they're around 7th right now. They've been dropping points a lot, so they're doing. We're doing well for ourselves, being in this position right now. And Grimsby might want to look for a dub because they come from a Bristol three one three zero win, but they're not looking so hot. But then again, I, I could expect a dub out of these guys, and and I just need some goals from Isaac Buckley. Yeah, he has not scored, and on competitions he's been he scored four, but not technically not played a match for us and have scored so I hope he could get um, something in in today and let's see how well he does let's continue into our match this is our squad right here nothing really changed from last time except for that um so I everything everything else looks well and dandy I just gotta keep on um, getting the budget our robot balance a little bit more up and everything else. We're playing at home. Of course, it's green to be. Yes, yes, I made the team. Isaac Butley will have to struggle a little bit. Oh, and I have I forgot about uh, talking about this. I did release James Stinson, mostly because I didn't have no use for him. So, And I have better strikers than him that I could use. So anyways, let's continue into our match. Uh, let's put the, the match a little bit slower. So I can get some more time to commentate and live stuff. We already get our first... Um, Highlight in which Hartford gets his ball cleared, and Holman apparently gonna find a. I think he's gonna find a space with number seven, but I don't know. He's just giving it to Leggett, and they're playing a bit slow. Atkinson wins it back. McDonald wins it back, and now they're in. Yeah, they have scored. Freaking Albinson. Jordan Chitoya scored. Very disappointing. Uh, first, I'm um, uh just first. Uh. Just first five minutes, I'm gonna get very aggressive and uh, concentrate because that was that was very very bad. McLaughlin gets a shot and then he scores the free kick. Oh my! <laughs> Literally a minute later, we have scored a goal. Now we're tied. We're back in it. We're back into the uh, into the game. McLaughlin scores a nice banger from the from outside the box. McNone doesn't know what to do, and we have scored our goal, which is that was a fantastic goal as well. Uh, we're the time speeding up. We are getting more shots now. We're getting we're getting there. We still need to get another goal to um to get something, and they get another highlight. But we are gonna clear it out. McLaughlin is in a breakaway. We're we're going at it. McLaughlin still gets away, sends it in, gets blocked. Hatfield takes a shot, and we have scored. Hatfield. What a man. He, that's his first goal of the season. He's been lacking finishing. He's been given a lot of passes and assists. And today he gets a reward of scoring a goal. Gets cleared up by Leggett. But look, Hatfield just taps it back into the back of the net. Fantastic play, fantastic play by Hatfield. Can't even talk. We get another highlight. 26 minute. Parker is going to get the ball. Hope he doesn't lose it. If he loses it, I'm going to be mad. Buckley gets the ball. 
gives it a half. He obviously sees McLaughlin. McLaughlin's there. Tight, very, very tight end angle to see from. But nonetheless, we get a free shot and we get a corner out of it. We get a, we send it in. They get it cleared. Lockwood is going to look to play out. Of course, to McLaughlin. McLaughlin sends it in. Gets cleared out. And that's end of the highlight. And there's still more highlights. And that's for them this time. And that's bad. Number 21 is pretty free around this area. So I need to keep an eye on him. Uh, they're playing. They're playing a big, uh, passing a little bit, switching the field. Blinko is gonna try to beat Parker. Parker send. Oh, they send it in. Tozoi takes a shot, and it's blocked by Albinson. What a save! What a save for freaking Albinson. And it gets cleared out by Hogworth. The the instant replay is still going. We're still clearing it out, but they're still into the match. I'm trying to take a shot, we still clear it out. We're still get. We're still into the field. We're getting more shots. They get another, they get a corner, and they take a shot, but Parker blocks it from ever being something dangerous. And it goes for a throw, and we're still, we're still in it. We're still getting a lot of highlights, which is, I think it's good, but the same thing is bad, but then it makes for an interesting cut lobby con, so, yeah. Like get it, getting the ball, Rogers, uh, they switch the ball, Taylor, Taylor's looking for a cross, Benek denies him. Now we're in the counter. There we go, Howworth gets the ball over here at wide, he's going to send it in. Craddock takes a shot, and we have scored. The counterattack has worked for us. Tommy Craddock, I want to call him Tommy. I like I like calling him Tommy. Tom Craddock finds the back of the net. Well, yeah, crossed by Hogworth, which is he finds he, he was all alone too. He just has to volley it back in, into the back of the net, and we have scored. Now we are three one up. We are we are, we have responded so well after they scored on us, and we scored two more three more goals on them. But now we have to defend, and they play it back to McDonald. Leggett is going to find Blinko all by himself. Everything's going wrong for us, and they have scored. They have got one back, and they're back into the match. That's bad. That's not good. That's not good. That's bad. That's pretty bad. Lockwood sends it in. We're getting another highlight. Buckley is going to try to possess this and gives it to Hatfield. Says it to Howworth. Howworth's going to give it a fuck. <gasps> Buckley scores, finally. The goal we needed from him. Isaac Buckley scores his first of the season. He's been responding really well. He's been very upset that I haven't played him a while. And Hogwarts just literally plays it easily too, from three defenders and gives it to Buckley. And Buckley has scored his first first league match, which is fantastic. This has been a very interesting, very interesting half. So many highlights, so many everything. This, this, this is going to be an outrage. I hope the second half you know, becomes... Uh, even more um, um, exciting because so far we're, it's been ex more as exciting as it could be okay they get another no they don't they're getting excited we get a lot of more possessions everything's getting more excited I need something more another highlight oh Hatfield sends the ball wrong to someone else Chad Dodosi is going to try to take him on takes a shot at Alves and blocks it Takes it into his hands and it's easily, easily taken from him. He plays it wide. Buckley is trying to say something, but Laughing gets um, bounced back. They're getting the ball more, which is, is not good. Somehow Chidozi gets that. The center Chidozi gets into the back of the net and he scores. We need to keep on. I don't know what to say. There's so much, so many goals. I swear, this is going to be ending as a tie, but we need to concentrate and win this match. I really want to play defensive. Or to play the counter. Uh, I do want to play a bit defensive. They do send someone in. Shidozi is really injured. So our strike. Oh no. Holman is in. Takes a shot. Albison saved. My man. My man Albison has saved it. I need to make a sub. Uh, Mike Laffin looks very tired. So I'm going to put in. Um, probably, probably Jack Phillips. Gavin, Gavin Rothery has not been doing well for me. Uh, I think that's it for right now. I may need to put another midfielder. No, I really don't. Let's confirm. Let's uh, let's give him a pep talk. Tank, tell him that we need him. We need him there. We need we need him to become. We need him to be strong. Jack Phillips is not a very strong player, but I need him to play that position and hope he can play that very well. Everything looks pretty calm. Twenty to twenty minutes in. Ten more minutes left. I'll probably make another sub. Uh, I don't want to take up my winger, but winger's been doing well. I think I'm not another midfielder. 
That may that may screw me over. I don't know. Really risking it to take a base hit, and I hope uh, Kevin Rother gets uh, something in there and just gives me gives me time. There we go. 88th minute. We're playing super defensive. We have not been excited in the second half. So I'm gonna put in uh, Adam Adam Boys since he's the target man as well, and he's a little bit fresher. Actually, let me undo that. Let's put in Wayne Brooksby. Uh, I'm going to take Isaac Buckley out and I'm putting Tom Craddock up top and see how that well that that goes and we have three minutes in and we get another we get another one hits the post Jack Phillip almost Phillips Phillips almost scores his goal he almost gets his goal in the score streak short course sheet and uh, everything's just going for shit okay now it's about to be over we got yeah that's definitely over we have one four three what an exciting match we should not have let three in, but still very, very exciting, very interesting that I'll have, that what I've seen. It's very, very interesting. I liked it. I liked it. Yes. I liked the match. It was it was phenomenal. Grimsby have dropped into 10th. We have got another dub. And yes, that's, it went on fantastically. We have you getting a man of the match. We have maintained a five-game winning streak. That's what, that's a new record apparently, <laughs> new record. That that's fantastic. Uh, I give. I think I give this man uh some credit, because like I said, he they haven't scored. I give him a chance, and he has actually put it into the back of the net. Now I need to look forward for him, to become better, get get some more finishing, get some development in here. Probably give him a contract, cause since, I I think I. I do have a little bit of payroll to um, give to my players, so I hope he doesn't ask for much. Uh, he's very, he's not very interested, so I'm leaving him for me for right now. And yeah, that's very interesting match. I loved it, loved it to death. And I'm just gonna leave it like that in the names of Gash. Overall, very fantastic match. I loved the match. It was very interesting. Very. There was very one like like as soon as one side gets it, they, they counterattack the other one, and then they counterattack. It was just side to side football. It was fantastic. Um, next time I'm probably gonna play all these games um on my own, simulate them to see how they well they do, and then we'll be coming back for the FA Cup fourth qualifying round, and let's see how well we do on that, because our goal for that is going into the um. First, first, first round, and to go to reach the second round, in which one? This one, I think, is the FA Cup. So this one, we're gonna try to go into the first round, and see if we could go progressing after that. To see how well we do with that. So right now, we're just gonna be simulating the next episode. We're probably gonna. I don't know who who the team is gonna be, but I'll be ready for them. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make like, make sure you like and subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.